I'm doing a whole lesson all at once, and we can do it. All right. We got to get ready for that spring break homework. Some of us are leaving early. Like, that guy is going to be gone next Wednesday through Friday. That guy's going to be gone the rest of this week. And that guy and her. All right. Home Alone, the Sticky Bandits. All right. All right, example one, let's look at this beast. We are looking at the graph y equals sine of x. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Consider the equation sine of x equals 1 half, right? On that interval. If I were to solve this by graphing, I would graph sine x and y equals a half, right? And then I would do second calculate intersect. How many solutions do I have on this window? There's five, right? Oh, <laughs> five. What are my five solutions to it? We got, what are each of these dashes? It's a pi over six, yeah, it is, because there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So every time you move it, it's a six. So that would be negative seven pi over six because it's one more than six over six. That would be a positive pi over six. That would be a five pi over six, one less than six pi over six. This would be a, this would be a what, 13 pi over six. What am I adding to it each time? Well, actually, it's not consistent. Don't do that way. Well, I'm just kidding. What's one less than three pi? Three times six is 18, 17. You'd have to alternate. I added 12 pi, added 12 pi. You know what I mean? <coughs> because it's it's your period. It, well, it'd be two pi is your period. All right. All right, so now can I write an equation that represents every solution for that? Because right now I just picked some. I kind of just alluded to what we're going to do. That's a six. Look at it really closely. Are you looking at it? Squint. That'll help you. I'll label it for you. <laughs> Get out of here. All right. What can I write equation? What have we done before with like tangent and stuff for the asymptotes? We picked one of them and we added our period, right? Now, let's say I start, what I want to start with that one? I'm going to start right here. I don't like dealing with negatives. I'm going to take that pi over six. Pi over six plus what's my period? I'm looking at normal sign, right? So what's my period of sine? 2 pi. So I'm going to do plus 2 pi k, where k is an integer. Now this is for b. I just put it up there. Now, oh wait a second. That's not 2 pi away. Because I have multiple answers, right? This one repeats every 2 pi, and that one repeats every 2 pi, right? So I'm also going to need to list that other one. So I'm going to need to put 5 pi over 6 plus 2 pi k. I have to do that because it crosses twice every period. So I need to get both those. Does that make sense? Nope. You only need to do it once. You only have to state it one time. Yep. Because once you state it, it means they're both. All right. Let's keep going. Do you all understand the why I have to have two answers to this? Yeah. Does this, now this will be every solution, right? If they ask you to solve that equation and do not limit 
where it exists, you have to put all the solutions in. All right. Let's do this. Let's talk about the unit circle. Let's. So there we just used a graph. Let's solve it using the unit circle. So I'm going to give you multiple ways to do it. Some people will find this way easier. So let's solve this. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. I got to get X by itself, right? So I'm going to do some good old-fashioned algebra. This should make me feel... This makes me feel comfy and wumpy. Do you all agree on that? Okay. Now, how do I get rid of cosine? Inverse. 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 Everybody do some trig. Come on, cosine inverse. When you need pictures, oh. <laughs> sure, take pictures. I'm filming right now. But do whatever you want. All right. So X is cosine inverse of one half. Now, when I go over to my unit circle and I look at my top half, where is cosine equal to one half? At pi over three, right? Now that is where my inverse works, but doesn't it happen twice? So remember, where does the other time it equals one half? Five part three, or the one that's straight down, right? If I flip it over. So now when I solve this, I want to give all the solutions. My calculator will only give me one. Will my calculator ever give me that one? No, it will not. No, no, no. So my two solutions are pi over three plus, what's my period of that? Yeah, because it's going to repeat every two pi, right? Two pi k. And my other solution is the other one. Five pi over three plus two pi k, where k exists as an integer or exists in the set of all integers. But do you see, honestly, this is the way I, I think about it. It always happens twice on the unit circle. Find those two times, add your period times k. What? What? How do I find that one? I walk over here and I look for a half, and it's yeah. Draw actually yeah, drawing the square right. If you know that's root, remember root three over two, two root three. I'm sorry, root pi over three, two pi over three, four pi over three, five pi over three. Yeah. Yes, if you cosine inverse of one half is pi over three, if you restrict it, but we didn't restrict it. So because there's no restriction, we want all solutions. Because now we aren't looking at this as a function to graph it. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're looking for all solutions. Uh, you could, hey, easier way to think about it. If that's pi over three, that's two pi minus pi over three, right? Right. Math. See, I know I say all the time, but the more you learn about trig, the more you it makes sense. Alright. So for sine, if we have it over here, we trace it to the other side in this one, right? Because sine exists on this. Then we flip it that way. Does that now for tangent that repeats every Pi. I'm sure we'll. Oh, we'll see it. Is anyone else as excited as I am? No. Woo -hoo. Look at this one. Look at this one, though. Let's do that one. All right. What do I do to both sides get x by itself? Sine inverse. So I'm going to inverse sine, arc sine, whatever you call it. Confession to get rid of sin. That's a solid joke, guys. I don't care what you say. 
I can make lots of jokes. I, all right. So I sign inverse. So I'm going to look at, I'm going to do it. You guys want to do the graph where you, I'm going to do unit circle. All right. On the unit circle, where is sine equal to negative root two over two? Now it's going to happen twice. It's going to happen here and here, right? What are those two? What's this? What's that one? That's five pi over four. Now again, would it help to draw the unit circle out when you guys take your test somewhere? Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my one solution. I'm just looking for these, and that one is some pi over four. Now, could I have done this as negative pi over four? Yes. Yeah, because the same thing. It doesn't matter. You just have to pick one of them. I just like to keep the ones on the unit circle because they're on the unit circle. How do I get those? Oh, the root two over twos are always your over fours, right? Because they're, they're your 45 degree angles. Now, what do I have to add to both these? Two pi K, two pi K. But wait, what's this K you're speaking of? K exists in the set of integers. Some states that's actually this set theory is in algebra too. <coughs> set theory, it's called set theory. Yeah, yeah. and so we don't, it's not in ours, but it's not bad. All right, any questions on that? Now, I'm going to give you a new notation now that some books use and that you might see. X1, X2. Instead of writing it's one big solution, you're like, X1 is this, X2 is that. Could, could you flip those and you're okay? Yeah, it doesn't matter which one you put first. It's just a notation that's used. Now, again, I only have to state this once, though. Can you state both times? If you want. To be safe. To be fair. All right. Let's solve. Let's solve B. Whoa. What am I going to treat this cosine like? Can I just treat it like an X? Yeah. So it's algebra, right? So I'm going to subtract a 14 cosine of X on both sides. And I'm going to add a 7. So those cancel. Those cancel. I got 4 cosine of x equals 2. So this ends up being what? Cosine of x equals 2 over 4, which is half. Okay. We, even, we did this one. We did this on example two. But I wanted to show you, if you see a problem like that, you solve it just like algebra. The only thing that's different is the last step, right? Once you get it by itself, what do I do to both sides? Cosine inverse. Now, if you look back at, if you look back at example two, what were our solutions? Yep. Never mind. I'll say that. Eh. What was there on five pi over three? Like, do y'all ever just stop back and look at your work and are just impressed at what you're actually doing right now? It's really neat, though. Like, look at this. It looks like gibberish. You guys can make the whiteboards for like movies now, like Goodwill Hunting and stuff. You can just go and be like, look at this. Yeah, Goodwill Hunting does not have accurate math. It does not. Uh, Beautiful Mind does. And uh, Big Bang Theory actually did. They brought physicists to do it. Um, what other one? All, hey, if you ever watch uh, Hidden Figures, all that math is good too. That's accurate. I do that all the time. You check their math. You got to make sure it's accurate. Oh, um, October Skies also has accurate math. 
Rocket, Rocket Boys. Rocket Boys, yeah. These guys get to watch that sometime. All right. That movie slaps. All right. Oh, no. How do I do this? Mr. Twilliger, how do I do this? Look at this. Look at this. Rejoice. Rejoice, everyone. It is. You can use your calculator. Yeah. All right. So now. Um, I don't graph it to solve it. Can you? Well, how do I get x by itself? Tan inverse, right? Now, can I just plug that in my calculator and get a decimal? Yeah, yeah make sure it rains. Can I do my graph and graph both these and do second calculate intersect? Yes. Will I get the same answer? Yes. So whatever you're comfortable with. But when I do it, what do you guys get when you plug in tan inverse of five? Now, what's tan's period? So how often will it repeat? So what am I going to have to add to that? Where? You guys should get a stamp that says that. K is an integer. The graphing way also works, but I'm not... I'm not gonna graph that. I'm gonna. All right. Are we okay on that? Honestly, real world, that's a common way. <laughs> that should. We should get pre calc shirts. I survived it. I exist. You should put your name. Exist pre calc in the set PC. Now, can I do that with this one? Yeah. For tangent, there's only one answer every period, right? For cosine, there are. Your calculator gives you. So can you do this one that way? Yes, and get half of it. You will not get the other half. So what's going to be the most effective way for this one? Graph it. So you're not trace. Don't use trace. Second calc intersect. You got to use that intersect. Do you guys try this one in your calculators? I'll come around and help. I'll show you if we struggle. Remember, you just need... So, hey, hit zoom, trig. Zoom, trig. Are you in radians or degrees? Oh, I have my mouse up here. Squeak, squeak. You need to be in radians for it to work. No, 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 no. You're just plugging in the original function. It's cosine. No, cosine. You're plugging in cosine. You're playing. You're. Oh, no. No, guys. No, it's absolutely not. I'm editing this video. Absolutely not. Oh, gee, Ali. Remember. Hey, you're graphing this, you're graphing y equals cosine of x, and you're graphing y equals 0 0.6. You're graphing the two and seeing where they intersect. So, get out of here. Zoom trig. Zoom trig will make the window set up for trig. I understand now. That's still just a line. You did it wrong then. Did you graph both those? I'll take a look. Did you hit zoom trig? Z trig. If anyone's having calculator problems, I'll come around right right now. I got one answer there. Oh, that equal sign has to be highlighted, or else it won't graph. What? Huh. Huh. Try it now. Anyone else need help? Your zoom's wrong. Yeah, go zoom.
Someone, you denoted a value for x, I believe. Yeah. Yes. No, we got to do one more. Mm. Did it work now? Try it now. You got it. All right. Try it now. It should work. Somehow you got x stored as a value. So when you graph it, you have your lines like this. You guys help me out. When you do second calc intersect, what did you get for that point? 0 0.93, 0 0.92. And what did you get for that point? You got a negative? Did anyone get the positive one? 5.36. Now, would you be right if you used the negative one? Yeah, it doesn't matter. I like to keep it positive like my outlook on life. So it'd be 0 0.93 plus two pi K, right? And it'd be, so really we're doing the same things we've been doing. We're just adding our period times K. Again, why can't I just use my calculator to inverse it? Because that will only give me half the answer. I think that's good. You know what? I'm going to do, because that's all. You should be able to do all set one, though, now. That's everything on set one. You have you have time class, because then tomorrow I can get through set two. But that should get you there. Give it a shot. Enjoy. What a good video. Mr. Twelve is the best.